The performance of a freezer. A freezer has a coefficient of performance of 2.4. The freezer is to convert 1.8 kilograms of water at 25 degrees Celsius to 1.8 kilograms of ice at minus 5.0 degrees Celsius in one hour. Part A. What amount of heat must be removed from the water at 25 degrees Celsius to ice at minus 5 degrees Celsius? Part B. How much electrical energy is consumed by the freezer during this hour? Part C. How much wasted heat is delivered to the room in which the freezer sits? Okay, so let's start with calculating the amount of heat that we have to remove from the water. So the heat um, added Q total is mass of water specific heat of water times delta T plus the water all of the water turns into ice mass of water times uh, latent heat of fusion. So here uh, this is let's say delta M times latent heat of fusion plus uh, mass of ice which is equal to mass of water specific heat of ice times delta t2 okay so we have two steps of temperature changes the specific heat of water is 4190 joules per kilograms kelvin latent heat of fusion is 3.34 times 10 to 5 joules per kilograms and specific heat of ice is 2100 joules per kilograms Kelvin. So we can find the total heat added as um, mass of water, specific heat of water, delta T1, since delta M will be a minus the mass of water this will be minus the latent heat of fusion uh, plus the specific heat of ice times delta T2 so this is what we are supposed to calculate all right and let's plug in the numbers uh, the amount of heat added total uh, the mass of water was 1.8 kilograms. The specific heat of water is 4190. The change in temperature, we're going from uh, 25 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius. So it is a uh, minus 25. Let's make this a square bracket. Okay, uh, then we have uh, minus... 3.34 times 10 to 5 uh, and then we have 2100 times uh, minus 5 degrees Celsius we're going from 0 to uh, minus 5 so if we calculate this uh, we obtain uh, minus 808650 joules which is minus 8.09 times 10 to 5 joules that's the total heat removed so 8.09 times 10 to 5 joules removed why is it removed because q total is negative Okay, now in part B, we are given the coefficient of performance in the cooling mode. That is the amount of heat we extract from the water, QC, divided by W. So amount of heat we extract divided by the work done on the system. So the work done is... Uh, QC divided by uh, the coefficient of performance, which is 8.09 times 10 to uh, 5, divided by the coefficient of performance, which is 2.4. So we find the work to be 
3.37 times 10 to 5 joules. And in part C, uh, we want to calculate the heat that is wasted because the internal energy change in a cycle it has to be uh, zero. The amount of heat added to the gas is QC. Amount of heat extracted from the gas is QH. Work done on the gas is W. This should add up to zero. So we find that QH is equal to uh, QC plus W. So that is 8.09 plus 3.37 times uh, 10 to 5 joules. So we find that QH, the heat wasted, is 1.15 times 10 to 6 joules. So this is the amount of heat that is wasted provided to the environment. Okay, let's summarize what we did. We talked about a freezer. The coefficient of performance is 2.4. Coefficient of performance in the cooling mode is the amount of heat that you extract from the cold object, which is the heat supplied to the gas, QC, divided by the work done on the gas, W. And um, we, have, we have to convert 1.8 kilograms of water at 25 degrees Celsius to 1.8 kilograms of ice at minus 5 degrees Celsius. First, we want to know how much heat must be removed. In the first step, we're going from tw uh, 25 to 0 degrees Celsius, mass of water, specific heat of water, delta T1. In the second step, we're extracting heat from water at 0 degrees Celsius to turn it into ice. So that is minus the mass of water is delta M times latent heat of fusion. Then we have ice at 0 degrees Celsius, which has to be cooled down to minus 5. So mass of water, which is mass of ice, specific heat of ice, delta T2. So we find that total energy in the amount of, in the form of heat, 8.09, 10 to 5 joules, must be removed. Using the coefficient of performance, the work done on the uh, cycle is QC over coefficient of performance. So we find that W is... 3.37 10 to 5 joules and since the internal energy change in a cycle is zero the net amount of heat added qc minus qh plus the work done on the gas w should add up to zero so from here we can calculate the amount of heat uh, that is basically wasted to the room delivered to the room uh, it is uh, qc plus w 8.09 plus 3.37 1.15 10 to 6 joules